Hi, and welcome to VFX Tutors. I'm Josh, and in this video, we'll go through how to remove the sun from our HDRI. So we've got Photoshop open. Like I said before, you can use pretty much any other Im image editing software, like Nuke, Natron, or GIMP. Um, I'm using Photoshop because it's most probably what most people have. So what I'll do, I'll just open up our HDRI that we are painted out the tripod. So we File, Open. Now we'll go to our tripod, Stitched, No Tripod, because this is the one we just painted out. We'll click OK. And now that's brought in our HDRI with our painted out tripod. So now what we can do, we can go right click to our layer, and I always just duplicate my first layer and turn it off. So I've always got that as backup. So what we'll do, we'll just go through and we're going to remove this sun because say CG want to use a 3D light in there so they have more control over their lighting. And this is a pretty simple thing to do. Um, what we need to do is just remove it. So what I usually use is this patch tool. And the patch tool is really good. But because we're on a 32-bit EXR, it won't let us. So we'll have to convert it to a 16-bit channel. And this will mean that we'll lose some dynamic range. But because we're removing the sun, it doesn't matter that much because the dynamic range is pretty much mostly in the sun. We'll still have some. It will probably turn in. We'll still have some dynamic range. We just won't have as much as we did before. So I'll just deselect that. And I'll just go to Image, Mode, and select 16 bit per channel. And I can select merge. And it's going to come up with this HDR toning. So, what we're going to do, we're going to change this to exposure and gamma and leave it as it is. Any other one sort of goes a little bit funky. We don't want any other highlight compression or equalize histogram. We just want to leave it as exposure and gamma. And I'll select OK. So now we have our EXR, which is now a 16 bit. So now we should still, we should be able to use our patch tool. But what I'll do, I'll select it and I'll just draw around our sun. In fact, actually, let's deselect that. And let's just do a luminosity check so we can go to our channels, control left click on our RGB. And we can see that our luminosity is now increased. Uh, from our previous one where we had more dynamic range so it was more focused towards the sun and you can now see our luminosity is now being pushed a little bit further out and we're actually getting quite a lot of blue and this is what we don't want because this is going to push too much blue onto our uh, 3d objects so now I'll select and deselect that and with my patch tool I'm just going to make quite a large vision draw around it make quite a large berth around the sun Try and get as close as possible. Uh, I'm just going to do that. Take a left mouse click and drag over to the right where I've got all the sun and drop. And now select, deselect, and now our sun's completely gone. So now if we do a luminosity check and hold control, left click, we've got this tiny little bit here, which is just a lens flare, which is probably expected, and some on the wall. So we can try and fix that. You deselect. We're probably going to get some spill just from the way the patch works, so I imagine this is probably going to look a bit gross. Or not. It's actually fine. Deselect. So now we've removed our sun. Um, we're done. We can now take this into our 3D program and um, yeah, set it up for our lighting and add our 3D lighting. So if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, hit that like button and subscribe for more like this.